Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays at Dark Souls 3, the Sinners mod. And yes, we are here yet again. Because I've been running around a little bit off camera, and well, I have learned a couple things. And I wanted to do a little bit of testing before I did this on camera. So, talking to the Oculus Grudor and looking at her curses, the curses can be enabled and disabled at will. And some of them are pretty interesting. So, for example, Pride. It does have a strength that you have to choose. If I go all the way up to strength 10, you can see the enemies now deal double damage. Every damage dealt, whether it's physical, whether it is magical or fire, whatever it is, it is now doubled. But I get an extra soul absorption by 50%. So this tells me that it is possible if you learn a boss really well, for example, even if it's just the Dismal Knight, you can enable some of these curses because I believe they stack. I'll check that here in a second and you can just farm souls that much faster. It seems like this mod is really trying to get you to experiment with different builds and the new items that they've offered. So they're giving you a very valid way of obtaining souls a little bit, well, I wouldn't say easier because it is still gonna be challenging, but there's more ways that you can increase your soul absorption. So let's see, so that's 100% um, damage. So if I just leave that alone, let's go to Curse of Enfeeblement. Your body is enfeebled by unholy magic. Max HP, FP, and stamina reduced by 50%, and you get 15% soul absorption. But pride is still enabled, so you can actually stack all of these. I would love to see a run, not me, oh goodness no, where someone actually enabled all of the curses at max strength to see how that goes. But I'm going to disable them for now. We may play around with them at another time once I, again, just remember or understand the mechanics a bit more. But then I also wanted to go over here to the Ursus guy. What was his actual name? Magnum Ursus. Because I think I'm learning the affixes a little more. So if you look at the overview, it talks about how you can actually increase the strength of certain accessories. I thought there was going to be something called an accessory, but really what he's referring to is anything that goes in the ring slot. Okay? And I think the basic find superior, exquisite, and legendary, I thought this had to do with how strong the improvement would be but it seems like it's based on the level of the item itself. And I don't think, I'll check it here in a second. I don't think the ring items actually state whether they're a basic find superior, but you can see a basic takes two, find four, superior six, so on and so forth. And if I go to apply and affix, if I go to find, there's nothing. If I go to legendary, there's nothing. But if I go to basic, I do have some options. So the priestess, blue tear stone, Estus, focusing in pontiff's right eye, can all be improved with primordial fragments, which I do have five of. So I could technically, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I wonder if it's once I improve this, then I have to go to fine and you have to step it up like that. That could be, that actually could be. So let's do, let's try it. Let's do two of these. Let's do a priestess ring. And then let's do, let's do the pontiff's right eye. And then let's see if we can do, aha. Okay, I was wrong. It doesn't have to do with the level of the item. It has to do with, you have to step it from basic to fine, superior, exquisite, and legendary. That's a lot of fragments. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to look for ways to actually improve that, the drop rate of those. Now, the, one of the curses from the Oculus Crew Door did improve, I think it made bosses much, much harder, but it gives you an additional chance to get a primordial fragment. This is cool. This is really cool. Now. What did those affixes do? Why didn't we have a ring on? I, I don't know. I don't know. Now, priestess ring plus one. Oh, look at that. It actually says plus one. So now it's eight, and I think that was six before. So that's really good. And then the pontiff's right eye. So I don't actually know. I don't know what it was before. I didn't pay attention to the percentage, but that's pretty cool. So let's bump uh, let's bump our faith up. That now gives us 20 faith, which is really nice. Do I want to switch out the Pontus Right Eye for anything? I like the Estus Ring. But if we can heal using the Pontus Right Eye, I know it takes several swings. Cool. And then over here, I did take a look at the uh, Ritualist Ellie items. I don't, oh wait, imbuement. I forgot what imbuement is. Imbue overview. Oh, so this is similar. Apply 
why? Hmm. Do I not have enough? How many of those actually do I have? Let's see. Not sure. They're not here. Wait. Did I spend them? The ritualist packs? I don't think I spent them. Ritual incense, excuse me. I have two of them. Oh, so maybe these are only for her accessories. Maybe it's just for these. That could be. All right, we'll have to play with that once we get more. I do want to keep going down the path of the summoner. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Now let's head over to the Firelink Shrine before we move move on. Excuse me to the Undead Settlement. Uh, because there was something I missed. There was something I missed with the uh, Soul of the Dismal Knight. So let's go up to Ludlith. And we have a lot of souls still to spend. Don't worry, we're still going to be doing that. But if we go to Ludlith here. Uh -huh. And we take a look at Transposing. We're going to look at all items. So with the Soul of Vort, I can get Frozen Weapon. Awesome. Snap Freeze. Very, very cool. Normally you don't get this to the Painted World of Ariandel, Which is very cool. The, we did see this, we could get Atonement, but there is Vort's Great Hammer, fantastic Frost Strength weapon. Soul of uh, Vort, we can get Pontiff's Left Eye, recovering FP, which I just, I don't see the need for. FP seems to come back so, so quickly. We also have the Frost Flower Ring, which is really cool, and I think I'm going to pick this up. We can imbue our weapons with Frost, with 25 Frost. We could probably improve this, though with Primordial Fragments. And then we have the Accursed Sigil from the Dismal Knight. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab both of those for sure. We can always farm those other bosses to get the other items, but those are the two that I really wanted. Now are those, no, they have to be quick items, right? No? Well then how does it work? How? Wait a minute. Are you telling me that simply having these will imbue? Or how do I... Hmm. I'm not sure how this works. I'm trying to see if there's any... No, there's nothing there. How do I make it work? Imbues right-hand weapon causing strikes... I mean... Do we just go and, and try it? Oh, you can only have one at a time. I'm thinking... I don't want to go hit anyone here. Oh, you know what? We can go test it on the skeleton, right? Wasn't there a training dummy? I thought there's a training dummy in here. Guess I'm wrong. All right, we'll play with that out in the field. I'm not, I'm not too terribly worried about that for now. Now yeah, we'll just leave it on. We don't, we're not going to worry about the chalice right now. But let's see, we got that. Looking okay. I do want to switch up my armor. I just haven't decided what I want to use yet. So I'm still pretty happy with our setup. Oh, you know what? I realized only just now that the reason I couldn't see a lucky version of the infusion is because the key to the embedded is already lucky. Silly, silly me. Man, I really need to get some stats up, though, so I can switch out for some different weapons, especially the blue blood. So, the blue blood... I need... Oh. I still need five... Is it five more intelligence for the blue blood? No, just one. One more intelligence. Oh, we could totally switch to the blue blood today. Let's start leveling. Welcome, very well. All right, you know me. I always love to see what are my total levels I can get right now. Oh, 10. Okay. So let's definitely, let's get this up to a nice 20. Let's get this up to, yeah, 12 and 11 is fine. I like that. And then let's see what the blue blood, oh, maybe we want to infuse the blue blood with like a, a lucky gem. Oh, look at that sword. Very quick, too. That might be as fast as the... Does this have any special modifiers? I don't remember. Oh, and that's Crystal Shower. I want to try that. How do I do it safely, though? Let's get our torch out.
Oh my. Okay, that's pretty cool. I dig that a lot. Let's talk to Andre real quick before we head over to Undead Settlement. Which is good one. And we want to do a weapon infusion. Okay, so that just tells me about it. Gotcha. Okay, so infused weapon. Blue blood. Oh, it takes 10,000. What would we want to go with anyway? Lightning could be cool. We could do magic. What's better right now, magic or lightning? Looks like magic is ever so slightly better. I could do frost. I wonder if anything else is really weak to frost. Because I also have the, the ring on. Lucky drops the base. Ooh, that's not that great. Enchanted. So Enchanted gives me a higher base, higher... Oh, okay, it's going to stack physical based on my intelligence there. Okay. Do we have any soul items? Pretty. Let's check that. <laughs> Let us see what we have. Soul items. We okay. How many is that? Not enough. Okay. Oop. That should be enough. That's <laughs> just kidding. Let's use these. What? What did I? Hold on. What did I just use, and why didn't it give me souls? That was... Oh no, those are souls of paladins. Shoot, was I not supposed to use those? Uh oh. Fading souls, that's gonna be worth 500. That's still not, is that enough? No, not quite. Oh, what else do I wanna do here? Oh, hey, we have a lizard hide. Perfect, that's worth 10,000 in and of itself. So I think I use souls of the paladin that dropped from from some special knights and uh, probably shouldn't have. That is good, wasn't it? All right, let us infuse the blue blood with... Oh, I don't have a gem, you doofus. Oh man, I do have a dark. How's dark? 103 plus 38. That's actually only eight points of damage different than magic. Maybe that's what I wanna do. Lethal is just not worth it. Let's let's go dark. Just I'm lazy and don't feel like hunting down a magic gem right now. Oh, and we can reinforce our Estus. Perfect. Great. All right. I Ready. think that's good. How many souls do I have left? Is that enough for a level up? If so, I wouldn't mind a little bit well, more health. Very well, then take one. Okay. Great. There we go. Now, without well, further ado, because that was a lot of ado. Let's see what horrors await for us at the foot of the high wall. How many more covenants will we unlock today? Because it just seems like there are so, so many. Is Dragon Bro still? Yep, Dragon, or Dragon, Giant Bro. Still firing his large arrows there, perfect. Nope, oh, no item. Really? Still have all the draglings praying. Or, oh, there's the pups, so they're still here. What about all the pilgrims? Yep. They're still hanging out. This is going to be a good time, I think, to use our opus because we should be able to get a lot of kills. Maybe we'll get some more incense. Oh, you sneaky. Whoops. Quick, get, the, get him out. Oh! You get one of them? That's cool. Nice. Oh, good. Dry roots. Where are you going? Come this way. Let's get the uh, dogs out. Let's kill all these other hollows. Probably wait for an invader or a boss to spawn. So this actually is imbuing frost every swing. That is very, very cool. I am a huge fan of these items. Okay, there is one of the... Minstre oh, wait, what? Why did that drop?
All right, let's use a little Fico Expulsion. Heat. Oh, missed. That damage that my guy just did there was was rather absurd. Nice. Oh, how many can you hold of the old radiance? You can hold three. Wow. Okay. Nice limitation there. Remember last time I was talking about how easily farmable and consumable items for healing are not really my cup of tea, but if you put a harsh limit like that, okay, I can get on board. I can get on board. The Demon Souls remake tried to do that with some of the grasses. I think they probably could have gotten a little stricter, but it's still something. Better than nothing. <laughs> Please. Great. We still get Yol. Uh -oh. Oh, uh. Can we still get five free levels? Because, uh... I'm into that. Who is moving? That dragon's totally going to wake up now, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you're going to take me somewhere. Where are you going to take me? Oh! Interesting! Fair and keep! Oh, I like that, because it's right across the bridge! I'm actually not mad about that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's do a jump attack, knock him on his back. Beautiful. Oh, that frost. And some lizard hide. Excellent. Uh, I think I will actually clear this here. Can I commune and go back? Yes, I can. Oh, I dig it. Ooh. Oh, right. Crystal lizard. Easy 20,000 souls, why wouldn't I? Can I? Fico ex oh, no, 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 no. It actually worked. He's actually toxic. I'm still only assuming that that is toxin. That it builds up. Now, I don't really want to go into f another crystal lizard. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. I I just want the lizard. Nice jump. Come on. Just get the kill. Get the kill. Quick. Oh. Not too bad. Now is it... Wow. Lots of enemies. Oh, why am I not using my uh, companion? I just summoned uh, an Abyss Watcher. Right? Do your thing. <laughs> oh, the demon's still there. Do I want to go kill the demon? The answer is kind of. My Abyss Watcher is about as useless as the one that you actually summon during the fight, it seems. Ritual incense. Uh, not something quick to come by. Backstab? Wow, not one shot shotting with a backstab. He's pretty cool. I should be able to take on the demon. Ooh, lingering dragon crest. Nice. And he just disappears very, very suddenly. I should be able to take on the demon, I think, with his help, right? All right, Mimic? Yep, Mimic. Definitely Mimic. Okay, let's uh, resummon. Let us wait for enough for a fecal expulsion. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Watch it. Oh, nice hit. And. You want to finish? Nope. Get him with the poop. Oh, wow. Good, good kill. A lot of dust. Gotta be said. Penetrating sword. Another Demon Souls callback. Love it. 18 dexterity. Shield splitter. Because of the regular size. Yeah, so. Just the flavor text from Demon Souls. Very, very cool. Oh, I... All right, let's go do it. We're here. Let's go take on the demon. 
which should be okay my guy is probably not going to survive this and that's that's okay Ooh, I can't yes I can I can drop down but it's kind of a one-way street unless I homer bone out which isn't the worst thing in the world we've only killed some low-level enemies we've made very little progress here in 21 minutes of recording <laughs> but I've learned a lot and and I I wanted to share that with you all you know so we can all keep learning nullify fall Dan don't you act like you see me already don't you do it don't you do that at all this guy can go really well really really well or really bad really poorly all right let's I can still put on gold pine resin Get up nice and close. There we go. There we go. All right, demon. In fact, I think I will. And fecal expulsion on a big target like this. That's perfect. Uh, didn't proc though. There we go. Oh, he's going for the grab. Uh oh, uh oh. Watch it, watch it, don't get this. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, and I got grabbed. Don't throw me off, don't throw me off. Oh, oh. He threw me off. <laughs> okay, that was fair. Okay, let's let us wait. He had a lot of health. I didn't even see him go for the grab, and that's okay. That's on me. That is on me. Let's... Oh. Dogs are already attacking something? Oh, I gotta remember to try my, my crystal shower. Let's actually get the torch out to try that. Oh, there's one. Good. Let's try it over here. Does it target anything? Wait, how are you supposed to use that? Also, what is doing that screaming? I, I don't know. I don't like it, though. Let's resummon. I'm just going to try and keep him out at all times just to get the... Whoop. Okay, let's try it again. Just to try to get those incenses. Okay, it does home if you target it. I can I can get on board with that. Let's try it. Oh, no FP. Okay, did you want any help? No? You're good. Alright, item here. What do I have? <laughs> what do I have? He said with 99 throwing knives. Oh, centering palm. Could take a moment. This could take a long moment. All right, go at it. Wow, Frost is rocking very quickly. There it is. Easy. The northern set in the large club. Now, what does the northern set give us for a bonus? Frost resist by 25% makes total sense. I like that they're, the mod creators are trying to be logical about this. Of course, a northern set would increase your frost resist. And I appreciate that. More than you probably realize. Oh, here are the flies. Oh, meat cleaver. Very nice. Is that going to give me some health back on swings? I would hope. Let's take a quick look at the meat cleaver. Yep, 10 HP on hit. That's not bad. Now the question is, does it stack with multiple enemies hit? That's always kind of the, the question on whether or not they allow that. All right, not a mimic. Cleric set, beautiful. 
Oh, no, no, no. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, oh gee. Wow, that's a lot of thralls. That's a lot of thralls. We're out of here. <laughs> Just for a moment. We'll be back in the fray here momentarily. Okay, I'm seeing my health go up very slowly with the pontiffs. That's pretty nice. What? Is there always that stack of bodies there? Probably. Just don't remember it looking quite like that. And you guys still get staggered very easily. Charcoal pine bundle. Excellent. Love the bundles. That was a very cool addition to Dark Souls 3. Shorter time, but much better damage gains. Oh, what's... Why is someone taking damage? Anytime I'm in the Undead Settlement, the name of the game is just to roll around and knock them off their feet. Get fecal expulsion going right here. There we go, got her. I saw some other enemies come. Wow, there's a lot in this courtyard. I mean, there was always a lot, but I'm pretty sure this is more. Did I just actually swing under his attack? Because if so, hey, there's one. Perfect. That was pretty cool really want to purchase some of those summon accessories. Right, let's resummon. He's probably about to go away. Lots of, lots of loot. And wait, did that not fall all the way? Can I grab it? Oh, I can knock it down. Sage's scroll. Nah, what I was expecting. Oh, there's the Rudder's Bone. Okay, so it's different. Sage's scroll. All right. Well, you haven't even rescued Orbeck yet, but that's for, they all have, all right, do we have a bow, anything? I know I can't use it to its full effect, but can I, not, not charge, that's not what I meant. Will you even let me? Yes, I can, okay. That'll be a little easier, less obnoxious. All of them. Nope. Wow. Most of these have items on it. So let's see. We don't want to miss any loot. There's a lot of loot around here. Golden bomb. That is temporary stat increase, right? Because we got the vine bomb. Yeah, so that's for faith. Neat. I like that. And we have a thrall accent of what's a what's the barrel for? Okay, is it a hat? It is. Boost soul absorption by 2.5%, which means I can effectively switch that out for this. Okay, fair enough. Hold on, I'm gonna get my friend out here to do my dirty work for me. Of course, now I want the health back. Um, yeah, let's let's put that on, see how it looks. Is it gonna be obstructing? Nope, it's perfect. I'm now Barrelhead. Breaking wheel. Look at that. That was definitely a thrall pick and a sack. So those are all thralls, or at least according to this, these are all thralls that were strung up. Okay, I definitely need some health here. Let's just do a life gem for now. And, oh, can't forget our gentle prayer. All right, we have a couple things to look. This is just taking so much time because you have to stop and look. Prevents equipment degradation. Don't really care about that. Unless later on I'm going to have to. There's the frying pan. There's the raw axe and the pick. Okay, so this is a shield. The breaking wheel. Okay. And back out, please. 
So I'm still afraid. A lot of rubbish. Definitely want to try to trade the rub. Oh, I probably need Gentle Prayer again. There we are. Good. Another incense. Excellent. Don't want to drop down. I want to do a full clear, of course. So we're going to go this way before we head down the main path. Anything else I need to shoot down? No. Flamestone plate. Good. Wait. Actually... The Pontiff's Ring is not on successive hits, it's on every hit. I'm getting health back. That's... that's really good to know. It's not a lot, I'll have to see how much it is, but I can probably improve that too. Well, I guess I do. Oh, it's 6%. It's 6%, that's what it was. And really, I'm just summoning my companion because I'm afraid. You might might have thought that I would have like a valid reason. No, no, I'm just afraid of everything right now. Old growth bomb, probably something like strength. Uh, do we want to go this way? Do we want to go? Mm. You? Is there a big guy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the big guy. Come. Stay, stay by the... Where's my big guy? <laughs> oh. That, is that my friend? That is my friend. Where are you, dude? Come on, do your thing. Um, you... <gasps> No. Uh -oh. Roll. I'm just trying to think here. Did they not fight their own kind? Uh oh. No. That's just. Or maybe they. He just two shot. Nope. Just a blunt gem. Nice. Just a kind of a bugged out AI there for a moment. That's okay. Didn't kill you on the drop attack, huh? Also. No. Why did I? Yeah, why did I actually roll away from you? And gentle prayer time. Man, so, so much still yet to clear. Oh, still a bonfire here. Oh, nope. I meant another gentle prayer, please. My guy just got unsummoned. Oh. There we go, got him. Oh, is... Hornex still going to be here. Indeed he is. We already got his oh, set. Welcome. Uh, but I get to learn some part. Uh, most why. To the... Okay, now he's going back. I was going to say, is he not going to leave his cage? Still a very odd choice to me. That in Dark Souls 3... The NPCs that you have to rescue are able to just homer bone out. It would almost just be worth it if they forced you, the player character, to have a homer bone on you, fire, fire clutch, okay? In order for them to get away. You know? Try to find bundle ton of them. Because otherwise, why didn't they just leave on their own volition? I don't know don't know. Okay, we gotta think this through. It's been a while since I've been through here. How do we want to play this? Do we want to go down and take care of all this? Let's do some backtracking. 
Let's do some backtrack. I want to see if we can still access Hodrick to see if there's still a covenant there, which means we have to backtrack just a little. This barrel looks okay. It surprisingly doesn't, you know, clip through everything like a lot of armor sets do. Alright, Thrall Central over here. Oh, this used to be, so let's, uh... Oh, oh, okay. Let's go, 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 go. Yep, here they come. All right, you take care of that one. Okay, don't stop and loot yet. Let's get the kills. What else we got? What else we got? That seems to be it, actually. Good job. I appreciate you. Let's see. Any... Any hidden loot? Not here. Can I actually get over here? Have I ever gone over here in the vanilla game? Probably not. Can't go any further, right? Don't roll off, don't roll off. All right, what kind of loot are we looking at here? Sharp gem, nice. A couple of sharp gems, beautiful. And I did see the one, I forget what these enemies are called. The one that I summon and the one with the cages on their back. Rope fire bombs, I never found a good reason to use those, honestly. I wish I did, pretty neat item, just, I don't know what to do with them. Yes, I can examine you, but there's still a lot of thralls. Oh, that house, a flamberge! Uh oh, uh oh. And we have an invader. And we have an invader. Move, move, move. Where is the invader? Why is my friend here stuck? I don't like the sound of what's going on. Okay. There he is. Oh, he's got lightning spear! And he's going after my, my friend here. Get this beagle expulsion quick, quick, quick! Why are you going the wrong way? And he's still healing. Okay, quick, quick, quick. I can't resummon him. He died. Yep. Oh, I just realized that. That's... That's bad. This is bad. Uh... It, wait a minute. Is he using... Yes, he is. The weapon that I can't remember the name of from Bloodborne. Oh! Is he fishing for a backstab? And? Nope. Wow. I really don't want to die to him. Get some stamina back. Come on. Got him. Oh, boy. He was a mound maker. Tenitris, that's what it was. I just got the Tenitris. This game is ridiculous. All right, I would like to use that. I like, like, like the Tenitris. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I am a little nervous because now... Why? Who? Alright, let's get some torch going as a shield. And undead, <laughs> undead hunter charms. Fantastic. I guess I could have used that. Oh, it's this stupid thing. Ugh, I hate this. Um, here we go. Oh, that was the oh, the Velka set. Not mad about that. FP by five percent. I could be persuaded to use that. I'm not using a ton of FP, but when I do, I tend to run out.
just checking around and <laughs> make sure there's nothing here. Hodrick, please don't be aggressive. Are you still the mound makers? Well, the <laughs> yes, yes. It Beware you. Yes, you are. <laughs> you take Homer Bone, this thank you. 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 Alright. Now, mound makers. So we can still get vertebra shackles. Increased physical damage by 5%. Alright. And what do we got here at the altar? Offerings. Maddening elixir. Uh, warmth pyromancy. Nice. Ooh, I'll say her greatsword bloodlust. Flynn's bow. And then the sunset armor. Nice. Okay, that's a lot of shackles though. That's a lot. Right, so we're going to have to homeward bone out of here. And start over from the last bonfire. But on that note, looking at the time, it has been well over half an hour. If I were to complete this area, we'd be pushing probably over an hour. And, well, I'm just not about that life right now because I want to make some more videos for all of you. So, that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dark Souls 3, the Cinder's Mod. Excuse me, Cinder's Mod. I have this pain that keeps stopping me um, mid-sentence. I apologize for that. It's nothing serious, I assure you. But, anyway, that's what's happening. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying and I will see you next time. Oh, that was... I'll see you next time.